Hi everybody, and I'm back doing a new piercing video, and this one is going to be an updated all about my Monroe piercing. So as you can see, I do have my Monroe pierced, and it is on the left side of my face. Um, there is a difference between what they're called depending on what side of your face it's on. If it's on the left side of your face, it is a Monroe piercing, and it, if it is on the right side of your face, it is a Madonna piercing. Um, the reasoning for the names of the piercings is if Marilyn Monroe has a beauty mark up towards her face right here, so that is why this one is called the Monroe, and Madonna also has a beauty mark somewhere on the right side of her face, which that is why that one is called the Madonna. But since mine is on the left, I have the Monroe piercing. So I got my Monroe pierced February 22nd of 2013, and it is now November, so I've had it for about nine months now, which is really exciting. Um, it's amazing how fast time flies. It feels like just yesterday I was getting it pierced. Um, speaking of which, if you do want to see me get it pierced, I will have a video down below so you can see me get my Monroe pierced. Please excuse the lawnmower outside. I don't know, understand. They always have to mow the lawn every time I'm filming. I really don't get why they do that, but as long as, hopefully you guys can hear me okay, so if you hear the noise in the background, just ignore him. Um, yeah, but anyway, this, my piercing was $15 at the place I always go. I always go to a mystery ink for all my piercings and this one was $15. Last Monroe, all about my Monroe piercing I did was about the first week. So I figured since it is all healed now, I would go ahead and make an updated one just so I can kind of share my experiences with you guys. Um, you know, how the past nine months has been going and not just how the first week went. So when I first went and got it done, I was pretty apprehensive, you know, after he pierced it and, you know, after he put the jewelry in and I left and I was back in the car. Um, I look in the mirror and I was really, I was kind of weirded out because this was like my first facial piercing besides my nose. I mean, a nose is pretty common, but when you have like a piercing on like your on another part of your face for the first time. It's really weird to see. Um, the jewelry he gave me wasn't really that flattering. Um, it was, The ball was kind of big and gaudy, so I was, at first I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I like it, I don't know, I don't know if I want to keep it. Um, but then I was like, okay, I'll just wait till it's healed, I'll change it to new jewelry and you know, see how it looks then after it's all healed up and everything. So I decided to, you know, keep it, obviously. Um, but you know, it was just kind of weird to see it first. After I got it, I kind of had like a little photo shoot with myself and you know, took pictures of myself from different angles just to see how it looked and you know, after a couple pictures and you know, getting so many compliments on it, I absolutely fell in love with it. So I love my Monroe piercing and I'm definitely glad I went and got it. I went and got it pierced. It was pierced with a 16 gauge, really long barbell. I'm not really sure on the size. I want to say maybe 7 16 um, That is the bar they gave me to accommodate the swelling that my lip would have after the piercing. Um, and I waited a full month before I changed it. So, you know, as the month went by, the bar obviously kept getting longer because the swelling was going away. Um, after I got it, I was a little sore and I kind of had a stinging and bruising feeling. It was really, really sore afterward. Um, the initial piercing didn't hurt at all, but uh, as the day went on, it just kind of felt really bruisy and stinging. I don't know why, but... I mean, I know why, obviously. I mean, I just got a new piercing, but it was just kind of a weird feeling. Kind of felt like I was hit and scratched in the face. Uh, kind of similar with my eyebrow. It's kind of felt like that. Um, as far as smoking goes, because a Monroe piercing is also an oral piercing, because there is a plate that is also in your mouth, and that's the hole that they went they went through on the inside. So it is an oral piercing. It is a lip piercing. But as far as smoking goes, because I am a smoker, I still smoked. Um, I didn't quit for a certain amount of days like I did with my tongue. I just, I kept smoking and every time after I had a cigarette, I would just, you know, swish, swish around my mouth with mouthwash, um, you know, just to get it, you know, all cleaned off and get all the bacteria from the um, cigarette smoke out. And then as far as cleaning it, I took, I had H2Ocean at the time, so I would just take a Kleenex rest up against my lip and spray some H2Ocean on the inside. And then I would lift my lip up and spray the inside. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what the inside of my um, lip looks like because I know a lot of people ask that, so I'll go ahead and show you. Okay, so that is what the plate looks like inside of my mouth. I hope you could see that okay. It was kind of hard to like lift my lip without getting lipstick all over my face. But I'm hoping you guys saw it as, um, 
pretty well. So anyway, when I went and cleaned it with the H2 Ocean, I would, you know, do the outside, lift my lip up and push it down and spray the inside of the um, inside the plate as well. I do have a video on how I clean my Monroe piercing where I use sea salt and Q-tips. If you want to go check that out, that will also be linked below. Um, so I'll just, that video just kind of shows you how I cleaned it while it was healing. Um, I cleaned it twice a day, every single day. Um, sometimes three times a day, depending on, um, you know, how irritated it got throughout the day. But usually it was two, two to three times a day, I would say. Um, when it comes to eating, eating wasn't too difficult. I did snag uh, my teeth a couple times um, because the bar is so long and sometimes when it when you have the long bar and sometimes the back plate can get caught on your tooth and you pull, um, that can be really sore, but that didn't happen too often. I think the whole healing process, I think that only happened like once or twice. So eating wasn't too bad. If I did have food on the left side of my mouth, I would just chew a little bit slower just to make sure I didn't run the risk of snagging it on my teeth again. Um, I just ate a little slower on that side and you know just to be safe and everything went fine um, towards the end of the month obviously the bar got really really long so I knew it was getting come it was coming time to oh, I can't talk it was getting to that time to change it um, during the healing process the things that I experienced the most was the my Monroe was very very red for about two weeks um, redness is normal with piercings it's nothing to be worried about um, especially on the on the face lip piercings do tend to be red um, <clears throat> my redness did last for two weeks so it did last quite a long time I waited till everything was done before I changed it I waited for the swelling to be gone I waited for the redness to be gone and I waited for the pussing and crusting to stop but the two big things that happened during the healing process was the redness and the crusting um, my lip did swell but I mean it wasn't too bad at all I mean with the long bar in the highest point of swelling it got for me was probably like um Hmm, what day maybe like day three and you could still see a little bit of the bar sticking out so the swelling did not get too bad it was nothing um you know it was nothing you know bad or dramatic anything like that as far as you know during the healing process and it being sore it wasn't too sore i mean mostly out of everything it was just tender um i never snagged it on anything while it was healing thank god um <laughs> I, you know, I never really snagged it on anything and it was never really too sore. It was always just really tender. And on March 22nd, which was exactly one month later from when I got it pierced, um, I came time to change it and I have a video talking all about, you know, what went down when I changed it. So if you want to know more about that, just go check out that video and you can get all the information on it. I don't have a video of me changing it. Um, I might do a video in the future of me, you know, how to change out your Monroe ring. Um, I'm not sure when and if I will do that video just because I, you know, I just have such a hard time changing piercings. I just, I hate it. So if that video comes, you will see it in the future, but if not, it'll be okay. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to know more about how I changed it, go check out that video. But just for the base basics for this video, it was a 3 8 of an inch um, metal bar um, that's how long it was and then it came with like a two millimeter green gem on top and it was internally threaded so I after about like 15 minutes of trying to get the first ball off of the initial bar um, I slipped that one in and at that point my lip was very very irritated because of um, tugging at the old piercing trying to get the ball off for so long so that really made my lip irritated and then when I put the new one in it started to bleed really bad so after I changed it I just you know cleaned it really good with sea salt sprayed some H2 ocean on there and then for the rest of the night I do you see what I mean do you see what I mean like really why do they always do this to me but the rest of the night I just held an ice cube to it just to get the swelling down and by morning everything was completely back to normal and you know my lip looked fine it didn't get infected or irritated or anything like that and then after I changed my Monroe ring I had the little green stud in which you guys know very very well I've had that in since March and as of about maybe I want to say like two Two weeks ago now, um, I did go out and buy a new one, which is this one right here. This is the one that I am sporting in my um, piercing now, and it is just a simple crystal gem, and I kind of bought it in a hurry. Um, and the reasoning for that is because I wanted something that is bioplast. Um, and what bioplast is, it is kind of like a material that moves with your body. It's not anything like metal or anything like that. Um, I wanted something that 
uh, was Bioplast, and I'll get into that reason for a minute. But first, I'm going to show you what Bioplast looks like. You can see it is kind of like that um, rubbery material, which is very, very a lot more safe than the metal one. And the metal one that I was wearing. Um, I wasn't having some good consequences of that. Um, in case any of you are wondering, this was bought at Claire's for $5 and it is a 3 8 of an inch um, bioplast ring. Um, if you go into Claire's, they're in like little jewelry thing that they have to unlock for you. So that's where I got that from. Just wanted to clear that up. And the reasoning why I switched to bioplast is because after having the metal one in my mouth for so long, I started to see effects of something that is very common with lip piercings and... I know I'm not the only one because a lot of people struggle from this and that is gum recession and if you don't know what that means it's where the lining of your gums gets weak and just starts to disintegrate. Um, after having the metal one in my mouth for so long uh, the metal started to wear away at my gums and I don't know if any of you are interested in seeing my teeth but I will go ahead and show you the difference from this side to this side. I will show you what I mean by the gum recession. As you can see here this is the tooth that I'm talking about and this is the tooth with the receding gum line. As you can see, it has gone up much further than this one. So as you can see in the up close clip of my mouth, that is the gum recession that I was talking about. And the reasoning for that is when I had the metal bar in, it was constantly rubbing from my teeth to gums, teeth to gums, every time I would talk. Um, so it, it eventually started to get really annoying and then when I actually started to see what it was doing to my teeth, I freaked out and you know, I was literally considering taking out my Monroe just for that reason, just because it was so you know, it was scary, like, the, it was ruining my gum line, you know, like, that's, that's not fun, don't fuck with my teeth, so <laughs> I was thinking about taking it out, and then I looked online, and it said that if you get a Bioplast or a PFT bar, well, that can really, really help with that problem, and I really love all of my piercings, I would be absolutely heartbroken if I had to take any of them out, I would be so sad, I would be like, I would be ruined, pretty much, if I had to take out any of my piercings, like, that would just destroy me, so I really did not want to take out my Monroe, but, I, you know, I kind of wanted to keep my teeth at the same time, so Oh, just a little bit um, but yeah so I looked online and it said that Bioplast can really help with that so I heard that Pink Sparkles gets all of hers lip rings from there so I figured I'm gonna go to Claire's which is where she gets hers and check it out just to kind of see what they have there and I saw this one and I was like okay I'll give it a try why not so when I came home, I switched it out and it was like at three in the morning. So there was no way I could record it with good lighting. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but I came home and I switched out and almost instantaneously, I felt a lot better. Um, the gum recession hasn't gotten any worse, by the way. It's, it's, it stayed this way and, um, you know, it hasn't gotten any worse since having the other ring in. So I just wanted to clear that up. But almost instantaneously, I could tell a difference between the metal one and this one. The back plating of this one is a lot bigger so the edges of it don't catch on my gum to tooth line um, so that feels a lot better and it, it's not rubbing on my gums it's more up towards this part of my mouth like almost directly behind this whereas the green one would constantly be getting stuck right on the gum line and would catch every time I would talk so I was very satisfied I was so happy to change it um, from now on for the rest of my Monroe wearing life I will always 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 wear Bioplast or PFT bars in this piercing I will never go back to metal ones I really liked the green gem I thought it was really cute and tiny and simple I really liked it but at the same time I did not want to go have a gum graft eventually and pay two thousand dollars to get that fixed yeah, everything's all good and grand now. My teeth are still in healthy condition. You know, I take really good care of my teeth because I have two oral piercings. So, you know, I, I take excellent care of my teeth and I keep an eye on things. So, all is good now. I'm really glad I changed it to that. If you want to get your Monroe pierced, they do give you a metal one initially. You cannot wear a Bioplast one while it is healing. That will cause irritation and infection and you just don't want that. Um, but while after it is healed and you go to change it, change it to a Bioplast or a PFT bar. Um, they're both kind of similar. 
but that's what I would recommend changing it to just so you can keep your gums healthy and just don't wear any type of metal jewelry in your lip rings. It's just something I would never do again and I would recommend everybody to wear Bioplast. It's just good for your mouth. Um, it's just better for your mouth in general, so that's what I would recommend. Overall, I love this piercing. I've never had any really great problems with it. It healed really fast, really well. Um, never got infected, never got caught on anything. Like I said, it snagged in my teeth a couple times during the healing process, which is totally normal. Not a big deal at all. But overall, I love this piercing and I definitely recommend it to everybody. This is like the number one piercing that looks flattering on everybody. Everybody can pull this piercing off, whether you're thick, thin, tall, small, anything, any race. It looks great on everybody. I love this piercing. Every time I see someone with it, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I have that too, you know? So it's just really cute and fun. So if you want to go get it, don't let anybody stop you. Go and get it. It's really cute. You'll love it. I'll love it. I love Monroe piercings. They're just great all around. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video of my updated all about my Monroe piercing. It's almost been a year, which is so crazy. Um, you know, it just feels like all my piercings are still babies to me, but I've had them for so long now, it's weird. But, um, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you already have it, and please check all my links below. I will have a ton of more Monroe piercing videos linked down below as well, um, so you guys can get more information about it. Make sure to check out all my links to interact with me more. Until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video, and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!